Hi there. When a Jamf now managed iPhone or iPad goes missing, the first thing we should do to recover it is enable lost mode. When we enable lost mode from Jamf now, the device is locked to prevent unauthorized access, a custom message is displayed, and an alert sound can be played, all in the effort to recover this missing device. Let's go through a quick overview of lost mode in Jamf now. I have a device enrolled in my Jamf now server that was just reported missing. After logging into Jamf now, click on the mobile device to view its inventory record. To successfully enable lost mode, the target device must be supervised and able to receive MDM commands, so it must be powered on and connected to a network. Before enabling lost mode, it's a good idea to check the last inventory date and time. This will give you an idea of when the device last communicated with Jamf now, as well as set expectations on whether the device is in a state where it can receive a lost mode command. Click the action pop-up menu in the top right corner, then click enable lost mode. Here we can input information to display on the lost device's screen while locked. In the message field, I'm entering, I'm lost, please contact the number below if found. In the phone number field, I'm entering the number for my help desk. You can also choose to play an alert sound on the device, hopefully making it easier to locate. When ready, click enable to send the lost mode command. We can now view the status in the top left corner of the device's inventory record. Until the device receives the command, the lost mode status will be enabling. When the device receives the lost mode command, it locks itself and prevents any further use. The only way a device can exit lost mode and resume normal use is by receiving a command from Jamf now to disable lost mode. While lost mode is enabled, the device displays the message we configured on its screen and reports its last known location to Jamf now. Please note that this location report is only enabled while a device is locked via lost mode. To view the last reported location of this device, click the GPS coordinates next to last location. To instruct the device to report its location again, you can click the three dots at the bottom of the lost mode card and then click update. Once we've located this device and recovered it, we need to disable lost mode. Click disable at the bottom of the lost mode card, and then click disable again to send the command to disable lost mode. When the device receives the command to disable lost mode, it will unlock, inform the user that it's no longer lost, and stop reporting its location to Jamf now. Just like the enable command, if the device is powered off or not connected to a network, it will not be able to receive the disable command and will remain in lost mode. If we attempted to disable lost mode, but after some time the status still displays disabling, we may need to take further action. For example, due to a security feature in iOS and iPadOS, if the device has not been unlocked in multiple days or is powered off and back on, most network communication is not permitted, and the disable lost mode command cannot be received. In this case, the device will need to be erased and restored in recovery mode, and then re-enrolled in Jamf now. That's it for our quick overview of Lost Mode in Jamf Now. Be sure to check out the links in the resources for more information about Lost Mode, as well as instructions to restore a device that's unable to be unlocked, and an additional method to use Lost Mode via iCloud. Thanks for watching.